Who invented the modern drone? Though drones feel like a high-tech development from recent years, people have actually been trying to develop them since World War I. Of course, it all began with the military. The earliest drones were used as basic aerial torpedoes or flying bombs. They were launched from ramps, with trajectories calculated according to wind direction and distance. Drones were niche and unreliable. It took ages for technology to catch up with people's ideals. Until the 1980s, Abraham Karim was a former Israel Air Force officer who moved to the U.S. to pursue his passion for unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs. He built the Albatross in his home garage. It's a fixed-wing, long-range drone made from a lightweight composite airframe. It has a maximum speed of 129 kilometers per hour and a maximum range of about 250 kilometers. What was most important about the Albatross was its reliability. It brought eyes to its inventor, but not as much as its younger brother. The Predator changed warfare forever. It started out as a remote surveillance tool, used in intelligence missions. But then the US Air Force attached a missile to it and hooked it up to the global telecommunications system. By the 2000s, the US military could not only track, but also assassinate targets from anywhere in the world, even from the comfort of their office in the US. It was crucial during the US war against Afghanistan. Drones became so significant that they started drawing attention outside of warfare. In 2006, the FAA recognized the potential drones could have outside of the military. They issued the first commercial drone permits, allowing people to use drones recreationally. Nowadays, drones are used everywhere. They're invaluable in modern warfare, but they're also used in videos and photos for beautiful aerial shots, in aid and rescue, and more. And it's all thanks to Abraham Karim. What do you think? What other uses of drones do you know of?